What's going on, folks? How y'all doing? Figured I'd just reach out to you. Who's that? Sonny? Hey, Sonny. <laughs> Carrie, not Gary, man. Come on now. There you go. C A R Y. What's going on, Sonny? How you doing? But um, I just want to jump on for a minute because I know a lot of times people are not sure. And it's okay to be unsure, just like it's okay to not be okay. And the topic, as you see, is ask. Always ask, you know? And um, I'm a person that has always sought, sought clarity. And I think seeking clarity and gaining clarity, more importantly, is really important. But you can't gain it unless you seek it or ask for it, look for it. And there, you would be surprised. There are a lot of people that have a problem with providing clarity. They have a problem with someone asking for additional information outside of what they've already provided. And we have to understand that everyone learns differently, speaks differently, you know, calculates or put things together differently. So you can't always just assume people know what you mean or know how something is supposed to work. That's just not realistic because we're all divinely made differently. And no matter how you slice it, at the end of the day, that's what it is. So I just want to give you a couple of points. You can write these down. And if you have any questions or, or comments, please feel free, post them. Um, one of the things is before starting or committing, this is important, before starting or committing to anything, ask I mean, why would you want to start a task, <clears throat> excuse me, a, a an agreement, a project, whatever the case may be, and you know you've got questions, but you don't ask them. And then later on, because you did not ask them, you know, something pops up. Ethan, how you doing, man? Good to see you. You know, so ask before committing to anything. Ask before uh, you know, making an agreement you know, or starting to do something. I mean, it's just a common sense thing, but it could be easily overlooked. And uh, you'd be surprised, or maybe you wouldn't, but a lot of people start business uh, partnerships and they have reservations or something like that, and they never address them. And then down the line, <clears throat> or as things are getting started, all these questions pop up and everyone's like, huh? Why are these things coming to light now? So do it in the beginning. Another thing you want to do is, or, or understand is that <clears throat> if you're uncomfortable about something and you're about to do something or something is expected of you, if there is discomfort, ask those questions. Because just like the previous uh, scenario, why begin something if you have reservations, if you're not clearly if you don't clearly understand or if there's something preventing you from moving forward. So when you realize there's a certain level of discomfort, by all means, ask those questions. Now, <clears throat> I have taken uh, a couple of notes, so I am going to look at uh, my notes to uh, refer to. But if you got a comment about any of those things so far, please post it. And if you're watching this live, just put hashtag live. If you're watching the replay, hashtag replay. And the reason for that is because I want to be able to address your questions or your comments or whatever your feelings and thoughts are about this, because you'd be surprised again. And I really mean you'd be surprised. So many things that seem obvious are not obvious to everybody. I mean, I didn't make this up. That's just life. Again, we are different. We are unique in our own right. But at the end of the day, uh, some people are on fast mode. They're always moving. And I can be that way. I must admit, I can be so forward moving and forward thinking that other people may have a problem catching up. And I get it. Yeah, Ethan, it is true. You're right. However, we have to be considerate of people who may not have the information that we have, people that may not be fast learners, 
people that disseminate information so quickly and they're on to the next thing, whereas you're trying to figure out, huh, what did, they, what did you say? What do you mean? What am I expected to do? That is a part of life. Sometimes it could be our own fault, too. Now, let's be realistic. We can't always blame it on the person that thinks and processes fast. Sometimes we need to have clarity of thought to pick up so that we can keep up. Meaning, if you're distracted because you haven't gotten good rest, if you're distracted because you're worrying about something, or there's a recent occurrence that uh, has has happened and it's prevented you from being sharp, your social awareness skills are off base, you know? Or if you're listening to ear pods and iPods and you're distracted by social media, right? Some of these things can prevent us from really being on point. So sometimes it's our own fault. Now, obviously, I'm going to say obviously, it's not always you and it's not always them. So number three, write this down if you have been taking notes and if you haven't, just take it uh, as a, a bit of insight. It does not matter how much experience that you have. There's no hidden or written rule that says if you've been in an industry or you have a, you're in a profession of whatever, it could be um, electronics, carpentry, speaking, uh, being an author, uh, whatever. I mean, A to Z, the industry or the profession doesn't matter. But because you have tenure in a profession, a particular area that does not mean you know all things that's why like the song says there's levels to this because as a teacher a school teacher right you've got your first year of, of teaching you've got your second year and then eventually on and on and on and the more experience you have uh, the more you grow of course and probably there may even be less questions you may be well-read or well-versed in the industry of being a teacher. It's the same thing with life. In life, there's levels to what you know. The good experiences and the bad experiences all add up to make life what it is. And that's why uh, variety is the spice of life. Because not only do we have different interests and we're made and have different tastes and preferences but we also experience things differently. And in experiencing things differently, you will get uh, a different um, a flavor. You know, develop a different flavor. You'll see it differently than the person next to you on your left or your right. That is a part of the process. This is why asking questions um, should be expected. If someone says, well, why are you asking that? You should know that. Why? Why should you know something if you're asking the question? Possibly you have forgotten. Maybe you're looking for confirmation. Maybe you're looking for reconfirmation. Or maybe simply you do not know at all. You may know everything else, but you're not 100% through and through with everything under the sun as it relates to a particular question that you may have. And some people will respect that and some people will not respect it. They'll figure if you ask a question, something's wrong with you. Ain't that crazy? Why should something be considered wrong with you because you're asking a question? You know, it takes a lot of courage to ask a question when you don't know. I'll say especially for men because men are known to not ask for help. But if you have questions, ask your questions. Don't let someone tell you that you're uh, need for information on a particular thing makes you crazy or less than. That makes no sense at all. Ask your questions. Be sure so that as you move forward, whether it's professionally, socially, or recreationally, you know what you're doing, what you're moving into, and that experience can be clear and clean cut. So any questions, please pop them in there. I, I definitely appreciate Sonny and, and Ethan jumping on. I, Appreciate you guys. Um, any questions or comments from anyone, again, replay or in real time, post them. I want to get back to you. I mean, if you agree with me, great. If you don't agree with me, that's okay. Maybe I need to look at it through another lens because I think it's important. We don't ask enough questions at times. Not all the time, 
but at particular times when it means something to us. Now, one thing I want to remind you of, oh, absolutely, Ethan, no problem. You're welcome. But one thing I want to remind you of, remember on Thursdays, you can, you want to come over to the Change the Brain page and check out what's your come up story. My co-host, Kate Fit and I will be talking to different professionals, different people about how they came from the guttermost to the uttermost in their lives and how you can gain some insight from their lessons, their stories, and their experiences. You know, you don't have to be a superstar to be a success. You just got to have a life experience. Listen, and if you want to follow me, follow me right here on Facebook, or you can follow me on any social media outlet like Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, forward slash Sir Charles Carey. And I will be uh, more than glad to connect with you there. And with that being said, listen, guys, I hope you have a good day and enjoy the content. Share the content. Tell somebody about what we're talking about. Tell someone about what's your come up story, which happens on Thursdays. And we are still working on that new project. I'm so excited about it because as soon as I log off, I'm going back to work on that project. So with that being said, remember, you always got to radiate the brain and change the game. I'll see you next time.